Sports and the PGA Tour are proud to present the final round of the Tour Championship. It's part of the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. East Lake Golf Club, it's always been one of the great courses located in Atlanta, Georgia, and known for playing host to the Tour Championship. We are here again for another exciting tournament today. This is Jim Nance for EA Sports, and I'll be calling all the action. What's going on, guys? Big Ben here. We're back for some more Tiger Woods PGA Tour 14. Tyler Mason is in his final tournament of this, his rookie season. Uh, we definitely going to win the Rookie of the Year without a doubt. There's no way anybody can beat us for the Rookie of the Year. We're at East Lake here in Atlanta, Georgia in the Tour Championship. And guys, that's something else I can tell you was definitely in the bag is the FedEx Cup Trophy. We're definitely going to win the trophy. Uh, there's no way anybody can beat us there. Uh, we're winning by a landslide. Uh, we didn't even have to show up for this event. They could have mailed us the FedEx Cup Trophy in the freaking mail FedEx could have brought us the FedEx trophy because we didn't need to be there to get it um, also guys the money leader we're definitely the money leader by a long ways as well uh, the only way anybody can pass us as a money leader is this tournament pays out 10 million dollars and and whoever and Tiger Woods wins the 10 million dollars because uh, before this event started we were just over 13 million in, in earnings for the season Tiger Woods was in second with like four and a half million dollars so, like I said, that's definitely a wrap as well. Um, we're looking pretty good. As usual, after this event, you'll see three courses, and you can choose one of the three. And obviously, it is the beginning of a new season, so I'm going to start playing on the first course. If you want to see the first course, let me know, and that's the one I'll bring. If not, tell me which one you want to see, and that'll be the one I'll bring, and I'll let you know what I've done in the first one or the second one, whichever one it is you guys want to see. And also, guys, I want to ask you, and I don't know why I haven't yet. Uh, it's really confusing because I always say I'm going to ask and I always forget to ask in my commentary. As you see me chip one in there off the green for a birdie there. But uh, I want to know who your favorite golfer is. I don't know why I've never asked you that. Uh, that's something I've always wanted to ask in my commentary and I always forget. I always talk about all kind of other shit and I always forget to ask who your favorite golfer is. I'm going to tell you mine. I have two that I have to say are my favorite golfers. That's Matt Kuchar and Keegan Bradley. They're definitely my top two. I really enjoy watching them guys play. Uh, Keegan Bradley is a go-getter man. I mean, he's balls to the wall all the time. You don't seem uh, scare away from a pin or anything like that. He's going for it all the time. He might not always do the best when he does that, but he's always going for it, like I said. Uh, Matt Kuchar is just solid. I really enjoy watching him play. And I'm going to tell you guys, Tiger Woods is not even in my top ten. And don't be mad at me for saying that, and I'm going to tell you why he's not. It's not because I don't like Tiger Woods. Tiger Woods is an amazing golfer. Amazing is an understatement. He does things on a golf course that most people have never even heard of, couldn't even imagine trying to do. He's very creative with his shots. He, I mean, some of his uh, shots that I've seen him make, you know, you've got to have a wild imagination just to even figure out how to make those shots. I mean, they just put you in awe when you see some of the things that Tiger Woods does on a golf course. So, I mean, it's not the fact that I don't like Tiger Woods. It's not that at all because I do like Tiger Woods. He's a good golfer, but he's not one of my favorites. I think he's too good is why. Um, I don't pull against him. I don't, you know, wish he's going to lose. Um, but, you know, I love watching him play. I have to admit I love watching him play. But just because you love watching somebody play or somebody's really good don't mean he's your favorite golfer. Um, and I'm sure a lot of you guys will say that Tiger Woods is your favorite golfer. And like I said, that's completely understandable. He's amazing on the golf course. He's really good. But I, th I guess he's just too good is why he's not in my top. He's not even in the top ten for me, I have to admit. Um, you know, I really like watching Justin Rose, Adam Scott. Uh, I, can, I can name golfers for days. And I have to say Gary Player was probably one of my favorites back in the day. Uh, I actually, well, I, I was going to say met him. I didn't really meet him. Well, I met him. Uh, but I was at the Masters, and he was there, and we were there for the practice round, and he came over and signed my little towel. I forget how old I was, a young teenager, I can tell you that. He came over and signed my towel, 
and uh, you know held a small conversation, just not not no long conversation, just you know a few sentences with me. And you know, as as thirteen year old, you know that that makes a big difference when somebody does something like that because a lot of golfers nowadays, you know, they're not as in touch with their fans. A lot of sports uh, athletes are not as in touch with the fans as you know as people used to be. I mean, it used to be nothing to get an autograph, and nowadays it's you know it's a challenge to get an autograph from any professional player in any sport. Uh, you know, it can it can really be a challenge. That's one thing I like living in Toledo, Ohio. We have minor league baseball, minor league hockey, and uh, you know those guys there are really down to earth. They're you know AAA. Uh, AAA hockey, the Toledo Mud Hens. You can see those guys at a restaurant go sit down and talk to. Them. I've I've seen a lot of the Toledo Walleye hockey players. Uh, I've seen them at a few of the bars here in Toledo. I've sat down and talked to them. I've been fishing with one of them before. Um, so you know that's really cool. Uh, Carter Hutton, a goalie, actually now a goalie for the Chicago Blackhawks. Well, he got caught up for a few days. He's still in their minor league system in Rockford, but you know. Uh, me and him were going to go fishing one day, and he actually got called up the day we were going to go fishing. So I didn't get to go fishing with Carter Hutton. But, you know, we got to be pretty good friends. We still uh, talk to each other a little bit on Facebook and stuff like that. So that's pretty cool, you know. And that's not something you see nowadays, especially, you know, with the professional sports and stuff like that. Um, but, guys, like I was saying, I kind of strayed away from what I was talking about there, and I understand I apologize for that. But I want to know who your favorite golfer is. And like I said, I'm sure a lot of it's going to be Tiger Woods. Understandable, but he's just not mine. Okay, and guys, also, oh, I forgot to tell you. Oh, my goodness, I almost forgot to tell you. I finally got my new video editing software. I'm sitting here looking at it on my screen. I almost forgot to tell you about it. I've been meaning to get this. I've been wanting to get it for some time. Ever since I started doing uh, YouTube videos, I've been wanting to get this. It's Sony Vegas. Um, I was saving up for it before, uh, but... Right as time as right as soon as I got the money to get it, uh, my PlayStation ended up tearing up, as you know, and I had to buy a new PlayStation. So that kind of took the money from me that I was going to use to buy um, a new place. To, I mean, a, the Sony Vegas. But I finally saved up enough to get the Sony Vegas. I'm really excited. Uh, I'm using it in this video. This is the first video I'll be using the Sony Vegas on. I had to tell you guys, it's a bit confusing. Um, no, not not just a bit confusing. I'm extremely confused using it. I'm slowly learning as I go. Um, I YouTube it, trying to find tutorials on how to use this thing, and you just can't really find any to get in depth as much as I would like for them to. Uh, I kind of wish somebody would have done something a little more in depth than what I can find on YouTube. Now you know there's several tutorials, several tutorials on YouTube on how to use Sony Vegas. Um, and it's just so far more advanced than what I'm used to. And I just wish, you know, I could get a little more in-depth video on it. If any of you guys know how to use Sony Vegas and you're willing to help me out a little bit, definitely hit me up and I will Skype call you or something. Anything you can do to help me out with this thing. Uh, I'm going to play with it as much as I can tonight. You know, I've got a few videos that's going to come out tonight. Uh, I'm a little behind because of the vacation. Uh, so I'm trying to get caught up. So I will be uploading videos tonight. So I'll be able to play with it a little bit here and there. Um, but it's, it's definitely a learning curve, guys. It's, it's got me beat on a few different things. Um, and plus, I'm also going to try to use it to make a new intro video. Uh, obviously, there's it's probably not going to happen anytime soon. I've got a lot of learning to do before I get into anything that advanced. Um, but that's something I definitely want to do. I don't want to do a long intro video. Um anything really outrageous i just want something short and simple you know a decent little intro video um you know a lot of people don't like the intro videos that's why i don't want anything really long like i said i don't want anything just blow your mind intro video but i'm gonna try to make a little something hopefully it don't look janky as hell i'm gonna give my time myself time to figure this thing out before i go for something like that oh excuse me guys i gotta get a swallow water here <clears throat> there we go excuse me but uh that's something i definitely want to do since now i have sony vegas uh it seems like a lot of fun once i figure out how to work everything but like i said if any of you know how to do it you know hit me up i will definitely take any advice uh any tips that you can possibly give me uh let's see guys where are we at um really 
Are we already on the 18th hole? Oh my goodness, I've talked through this whole freaking video. I apologize, guys. Uh, yeah, so um, we're on the 18th hole now. We're at, what, 8 under, I think? We're at 8 under. Looking pretty good. There's no way we can't win this event. Uh, I think Tiger Woods is the closest behind us at 4 under. Well, I guess there is a way we couldn't win it. As you see, I hit the tee shot into the rough there. Uh, basically, you know, we'd have to really massacre this hole to lose. But, guys, um, we're going to win the FedEx Cup. We're going to win the Rookie of the Year. I can tell you we did win the Rookie of the Year. Uh, we won the FedEx Cup. Won the Money Leader. Uh, so, yeah, we're looking pretty good for next season. Uh, rookie season was extraordinary. We've done extremely well our rookie season. And I can't wait to get going for next season. I'm ready for the Masters. As you see, I'm going to miss this freaking par putt. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? Thank God I wasn't tied or something right there or a one-shot lead. I missed a little short par putt and ended up with a bogey there. But, guys, here we go. This video is winding down. I'm sorry I didn't really talk much about the gameplay here. Um, you know, there was a lot I wanted to talk to you guys about, I guess. And uh, I apologize there wasn't as much in the gameplay uh, commentating as I should have done. But, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. There's our final scorecard. Don't forget to like and subscribe. As you see, I got the trophy there for winning the FedEx Cup. And, yeah, so rookie season was extremely great. Can't wait for the next season to get started. It will be coming up a lot sooner. I'll get everything going a little better now that I'm home from vacation. There's the next three courses. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'm gone, guys, and I will see you next time. Later.